Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. Anyway, we are on one of my setups, this one for cinema with a soundbar. This is a budget soundbar, so we'll leave a link down below so that you guys can check prices and all the specifications because some of them I will forget to uh, pass to that side of the screen. It has 100 watts, so the volume is really high. Now, in terms of size, it has 20 inches. We are talking about 50 centimeters, more or less, six centimeters of depth in terms of build quality it's nice it is built of this black piano glossy which it will leave a lot of fingerprints but once we clean it up and put it on place i believe that's okay it has some rubber feet to avoid some vibrations it has at the back holder so that we can put them on a wall if we want that. Uh, in terms of buttons on the right hand side it has a power button select input button and volume up and down and then in terms of sources it has bluetooth usb auxiliary input through 3.5 millimeter jack optical in power input jack and hdmi arc now, i did test in a few scenarios and i will share my experience with you in terms of the front it has this um, logo right over here from die play i think it's that that we pronounce and on the grill we can see at least two tweeters right over here or speakers to be more precise and I believe that they could fit probably a bigger subwoofer right over here. I'm not really sure, but I would have loved to have a deeper sound. The sound is really high, as you can imagine, 100 watts. And one of the examples that I want to show you is exactly right over here. Intel, que estamos a utilizar aqui o i9 2900K. E aqui sim, neste chipset, vamos fazer overclock. And as you can see, it's day and night. So in this particular case, if you want to improve your sound from a projector with a built-in sound and you don't want to spend too much money, but you still want to improve your sound, then probably this is a great solution in that particular case. Now, I also did connect to one of my Samsung TV Series 7. I did share here on the channel, so I'll try to leave a link right over here so that you can see all the specifications of that TV. But it has a really nice built-in sound speakers. And it also has HDMI e -Arc, which, is, which is a bit superior to HDMI ARC, which is what the uh, soundbar supports. But nonetheless, the result is the same. I did connect it right over there. <laughs> can control the volume uh, through my TV remote as I do with other HDMI ARC devices. The only two things that I did not find as pleasant, one of which is that when I do shut down the TV, usually HDMI ARC devices also shut down like we do with HDMI CEC devices. When we shut down one of the devices, the other device will shut down as well, like the TV or something like that. And this one stays on. Now, I do believe that it's not that uh, big of an issue because the power consumption is very low, so that is okay. The only thing that I did find that probably needs uh, fixing, I don't know if it's possible through firmware. Actually, I forgot to, to mention something. I was talking about firmware and it has also micro SD card input right over here. So probably the firmware update can be via micro SD card. I'm not really sure about that. But what happened with HDMI ARC in my particular TV, and this might be also uh, probably incompatibility from one TV and the other. When I change the input source with the remote control which by the way it has a really nice remote with all the functions right over here when i do change to bluetooth and things like that and once i want to get back to hdmi arc it will not go back with the remote i will have to press the side button input selector to go back to hdmi <laughs> Please insert HDMI. Please insert HDMI. Please insert HDMI. 
BMI. Source. That was the only gripe. I did try to power it off several times and probably might be in compatibility with my TV, which once again, it doesn't have HDMI ARC, it has E ARC. Depending on the TV, depending on the setup that you have, this might be the soundbar that you are looking for or not. It is in budget, so a nice option to have in mind. And if you do, don't forget to check a link down below. And if the video was helpful in some way, don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.